This is the first training tutorial for TurboCAD. This is really aimed at people who have not seen the package before, just to get you going at the beginning. So when you first load it and open it up, you'll see a screen something like this. This may, be, this may vary slightly, but it should look like that. So obviously you want to start a new drawing, so we're going to go to new. And uh, let's get rid of that. This, uh, as you can see, it's defaulted to inches. It's American and so it tends to do that but we can change that so we're going to go to file page setup wizard so page one it defaults here you see it to what the Americans call English which we actually know is Imperial it's okay it's not their fault they try their best so we're gonna change that to metric and then go to next now if we'd have left it in, in Imperial we'd have had options for halves and quarters and sixteenths that sort of business over here but as we've said metric it's going to default to millimeters we can change that if we want to but here we'll just stick to millimeters and decimal precision 0 0.2 which I think is probably good enough for everybody anybody next give it a name no we can do that any time we won't bother about that uh, scale we'll leave that because we're going to draw everything full size uh, this is to do we don't need to consider about this at the moment but the last page it says save settings if on here we click on to save settings then next time you open it you won't have to go through the page setup wizard you'll just go to new from scratch and you'll open up in millimeters so here we have it here's our page uh, you can see it's defaulted to millimeters it's about 300 across so roughly speaking we're looking at a sheet of A4 landscape here so we're going to open the tools now here we've got the tools option here but if it's not there you could go to view and it's right at the bottom it's tools palette there's our tools palette and we have four default tools palette sketch which is 2d and 3d model here these other ones are modifying ones which is uh, somewhere down the line here we want sketch we want all the 2d ones they'll open up if we click on the sides here close if we don't we're going to deal with just one aspect in this tutorial which is the snap modes and we're going to down the bottom here it's black we click onto there so we gray the snap and geo out and I want you to turn all of these off so that the only one that's highlighted is this top left uh, yeah top left which is no snap you see we've defaulted to a line and whatever tool we choose here down the bottom in the inspector bar here changes to relate to that tool so in a line we can only have length and angle obviously if we choose polygon well then we've got the number of sides the angles the radius and the side length which I think is across the corners rather than the flat um, all of these can be changed and here's are variations on the way we do it so when we choose a tool the next thing to do is to look down here and see how we can use that tool but for now we are just going to do things by eye and I'm going to talk about the snaps so if I draw a line I can just click one end and click the other end that's easy enough and I can do that here and there if I click a circle the first one is circle by center point which means the first place we click will be the center of the circle and if I choose a rectangle here this is a rectangle that's perpendicular to the sides I can just do that or as you can see down the bottom here it's got size A, size B. I could tab in, I could hit the tab key and type in a size 45, tab 23, hit return, and I can make it in that way. So you can do things by eye, you can do things by putting the information down here. And I'm just going to put one other thing in here, I'm going to put a regular polygon there. Now, to snaps. If I want to draw a triangle, uh, whoops, sorry, my mistake. If I want to draw a triangle, I could make it out of three different lines. And I could zoom in to make sure I'm reasonably accurate. And then over there, and zoom in, and there's my triangle. Now, because I've done it by eye, I, it's a pound to a penny that these are not going to be, that's not going to be very accurate. And down here, I've actually got a space, I've got a gap. Now, the problem with that triangle is that it's not a closed shape. Now, if it's not a closed shape, I can't uh, fill it with a color I can't put a hatch in it if I ex extrude it it's going to be three surfaces it's not going to be a solid so really I need to have these tight oh and the other thing is if I sent this to a, a machine to be cut out when the blade gets to this point here the blade won't know what to do no matter how small that gap is the blade won't know what to do 
So to get around this, we use snaps. And so to draw a triangle using snaps, what we'll do is we'll draw a line. Oops, sorry. We draw a line. And I want to snap to the end of that line, and that's a vertex. So I go V on the keyboard, so I get reasonably close with the mouse. Don't touch the mouse. Get V on the keyboard. Click again. V on the keyboard. V there. Now I know no matter how far I zoom in there, that is a closed shape, and they are they're all there. Now, there are a number of snaps, and here they are. Keyboard snaps, keyboard shortcuts. V is a vertex. It's the corner of a polygon or an end of a line. So if I want to snap from the end of that line to a corner of that polygon, I go here, do V, and there, do V. C here. C is the centre of a circle. So if I go close to the centre of that circle, uh, sorry, the circumference of that circle, and I do C, it, it clicks on to that point. And if I want that line to go to the end of that line, I go V. Okay, so it means you're using both hands and you're using and you're accurate and you don't have to zoom in. So V and C. Q are the quadrant points of a circle. So here, if I use a polyline, a continuous line, I could go uh, Q, 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 Q. And here I could either line it up or I could right click and go close. And that closes my shape. M is midpoint. So a line here, so the midpoint of that line would be M, so the midpoint of that line is M. I is an intersection, so that's an intersection, so I could go I, centre of that circle, go on the circumference of the circle, do C. E is the centre of a polygon. Here's a polygon. Now that's a vertex, so I can go uh, V, E. V, E. I don't have to click my mouse, I just go close to it. It doesn't matter whether I do the V or the E first, it just it happens, it works. N is nearest graphic, so if I draw a line from here and I want it to stop on that line, N, and I can zoom in and I can see that stops on that line. And G is grid. If you use the grid, I like the grid. Not everybody does. So G, so if I want a line from here, that's a grid, that's a G, that's a V. That's now a G or a V. Go to G, M for midpoint. Okay, now when you get the hang of the snaps, it's going to really speed up your drawing. There are a couple of other ones, but these are the main ones. And if you forget them, you can go up to help and keyboard. And here are all your keyboard sh sh shortcuts. Lots and lots of snaps. You've got your regular, um, you know, uh, control. Uh, Z will take you one step back, Control Y will take you one step forward. The other one's quite useful occasionally is Alt G turns the grid off and then Alt G will turn that back on again. Uh, and that's it for this first lesson. Thank you.